This is a terminal step-by-step -step conversion of an old ES1600 board, which is now discontinued, to an ES3050 PCB, otherwise known as ES Classic board. We're going to start on a CN1 block of the old ES1600 board. Here we have the VAC terminals. This is your incoming power from the 24 volt transformer. If your transformer is still good, the same transformer is used for this board and this board. We're going to undo the wires. Make sure that your transformer is unplugged before doing any of this and do not plug the transformer in until you're done with all your conversions. We're going to move these over to the TRAN terminals, here and here. Just as with the VAC terminals on this board, there is no polarity on the TRAN terminals. We have to put clips on the end of these, which I'm going to do now. Once we have crimp on spade connectors, we can now connect these wires to the TRAN terminals. On our old board here, we don't have anything in these second two sets of terminals. This is your battery positive negative. If we did have a backup battery, which is not required for either of these control boards, the backup battery would go where you see BAT positive and negative. On the BAT positive and negative, just like on this board, you do have to respect polarity. Lastly on the CN1 block, we have output power to our exit wand. This could be output power to any accessory, however it's basically going to the 24 volt positive and negative. On this, it would be going to the photocell block, which you will see has a positive 24 volt and a ground. We now have the red, which was on the positive 24 volt on this side, into the positive 24 volt on the new board, and the black that was in the po negative 24 volt on this board into the ground on this board. We're now going to move to the CN2 block. These first four terminals are the power leads for the operator arms. The APM1 and CHM1 have a large blue and large brown. On newer versions, you might have been supplied wire that was red and black instead of blue and brown. We're going to take these wires out and move them to the motor one, L1-1 and L1-2. At the same time of removing these from APM1 and CHM1, we need to remove our limit wires as well so we have enough space to move it over. What you'll notice is I have a blue, a brown, and a black. It's more important where these colors are going on the board than the colors of the wires because again if you have newer system you might have a yellow, a red, and a black. In this first terminal, which is COMF, the COMF is going to be the center terminal on either of these two limit switch blocks. Limit 1 gets paired up with motor 1. Limit 2 gets paired up with motor 2. So we're going to remove the wires for motor 1 first. I loosened COMF and now I'm going to take out FCC1 and FCA1. First I'm going to reconnect the APM1 and CHM1 from this board over onto L1-1 and L1-2 on this board. Now we're going to take the limit wires and go into limit 1. Brown was our FCC1. FCC stands for closed limit. On this block, the closed limit is the third switch. You see it says CL1, closed 1. And then the first one is OL1 for open one. And again, the center is COM. So we're going to put the black one because that was in your FCA, the third terminal over, into the first terminal on this side. This being the open limit. FCA on your old board is open limit. Again, the blue wire was in this first one, COMF. It is going to go into COM1 on this side. And lastly, the brown was an FCC1, which is your closed limit, 
On this side, we're going to put into CL1. If you only have one operator arm, you're going to move the center dip switch number two to off. And this would all be the wiring you need to do for the operator arm. We would still have the accessories to move over, which we'll talk about later in the video. But I'm going to move on to the secondary arm for a dual system. For a dual system, the center dip switch number two will remain in the default up position. But again, if you only have a single, you would wire into motor one and limit one, and you would leave motor two and limit two blank and move the second dip switch to off. The wire colors are going to follow the same pattern that you did with motor one. So we're going to remove from the CN2 and the CN3 block the motor leads and the limit leads. Okay, we now have our second motor wired up. And just to run through it again, APM2 will go to L2-1 on the motor 2 terminal. CHM2 will go to L2-2 on the motor terminal. COMF will go to COM2 on the limit 2 block. FCC2 will go to CL2 on the limit terminal block. And FCA2 will go to OP2 on the limit 2 block. We now have these terminals cleared. On this terminal block, the CN2 block, there may be two more wires you might have coming from the lock. If you do have a lock on your system, it will be in the ELS terminals. Those will get transferred over to this last terminal block, which is labeled E-lock. There is no polarity on it, um, but if you want something at the point of reference, left and right here, keep that same left-right pattern over here. Lastly, we have the accessory block. This is the CN4 block. This is where you would have devices like an exit sensor, a push button, uh, photo eyes, things of that nature. On this setup, we have our safeties jumped out, like the majority of the customers that we have do. And we have a push button, which is our red and black wire. And then we have the leads from the exit sensor, which is our blue and brown wire. On the old board, any opening device be it an exit sensor, which is an automatic device, or a standard device like a keypad or push button, always went to open A and common. On this board, it's going to be slightly different. So I'm going to take the two wire sets out. Now we separate them out. Again, my blue and my brown are my two leads for my exit sensor. My red and my black are my two leads for my push button. A push button, we want to be able to open and close the gate from. This is going to go on the push block on push one and common. Push one and common will both open and close the gate and stop at mid cycle. My red and my black are from the push button. These are going to go into push one and common. I'm only going to tighten down push one for right now. The reason is I'm going to put another wire in common. One of the wires from my exit sensor is going to go into common. The other wire from the exit sensor is going to go into push two. Push two will only open the gate or send the gate back open during a closing cycle. Any kind of automatic device like a loop or an exit sensor you want to put it into push two because you don't want it stopping mid-cycle because you drove over the loop and you don't want the gate closing on a car because you drove over the loop or exit sensor. You only want to trigger the exit sensor and make the gate go open. We now have our accessories wired in. Again, push buttons, keypads, anything you want the gate to both open and close from, go and push one in common. Exiting devices, Automatic devices, you only want to open the gate, so that'd be push two in common. Lastly, we have our safety devices or our safety jumpers. On the old ES1600 board, there's actually three different safety terminals. Stop, open safety, and close safety. 
all three of which will be jumped to common in order to operate if you don't have any safety devices. On this board, it's simplified down to one safety terminal. It does not have a stop, a separate opening and closing safety, it just has a safety terminal. It's labeled photo on the photo block. If you just have jumpers in these terminals, you only have to move one jumper over. If you have a photo cell, you should have a wire in one or two or all three of these terminals and a common. And you'll take the wire that's in all those terminals, condense it into one, put it the same place I'm putting the jumper. You'll notice I'm loosening the ground because I'm going to put the jumper from photo to ground. The receiver that you have plugged into these prongs will just be turned around and plugged into this. As you notice, the clip edge is on the outside here and on the inside here. 